hi everyone i'm baba today welcome to my channel africa every day so to this video i would like to talk about the prominent colonial masters that play a huge role in the history of nigeria yes nigeria got independence in october 1st 1960 also we get our independence but right before then the name nigerian was uh, proposed by one of the governors back then, our girlfriend's Flora Shaw. So that's what I'll be talking about for this video. Just the few of the effects, few of the contributions of some prominent colonial masters, precisely the British that participated in the making of Nigerian history. On the note, please, I want us to know that this video is not related to slavery. I'm not talking about how they came here take advantage of us i'm now talking about history in that aspect what they do what they didn't do the negatives and the positives please don't let us go to any topic that is not under this concept i'm talking about i want to talk about what the british what they contributed each person what they contributed and I, I want to focus on the positive ones, not the negative. I want to focus on exactly what they did, not the not not the entire colonial system. Let's uh, let's quickly take note of that. All right, that's just clear. Also, if I continue, I'd like to show my full appreciation to my patrons. Thank you for your support. Really, really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you for being there for me. I'll forever be grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. Remember, you can also become one of my patrons by clicking in the description of the video. Your support is highly appreciated by me. Thank you very much. Prominent British colonial masters who took part in the making of history in Nigeria. I'll be starting with uh, Sir Frederick Lugard. Frederick Lugard is one of the most popular British colonial masters in Nigeria. In fact, when we're talking about Nigerian system, if somebody could ask an average Nigerian what they can, on their feet, what they can quickly think of the pre-independence of Nigeria, I'm very sure there's a very high possibility that they are going to mention Lugard. Now, Sir Ledger Lugard is considered an architect of Nigerian colonial system. Lugard was instrumental in the amalgamation of the Northern and Southern Protectorate in 1914. He was the one that he took part in the joining of the Southern and the Northern Protectorate. That was in 1914. That was when Nigeria was uh, actually formed, 1914. He introduced the system of indirect rule using traditional rulers to govern local areas. He also wrote a book, quote, the dual mandate in British tropical Africa, end quote, which outlined his views on colonial administrations. Uh, number two now, Hugh Clifford. Governor Ge it was the governor general of Nigeria from 1919 to 1995. That was before uh, the two protectorates was uh, amalgamated. Clifford was known for his progressive views on colonial administrations. He introduced reforms aim at improving education and health care in Nigeria. He also wrote extensively about the, his experience in Nigeria, providing valuable insight into colonial life. And number three, we have Sir Arthur Richards. He was the Governor General of Nigeria from 1943 to 1948. He oversaw significant constitutional changes, including the Richards Constitution of 1946. This constitution introduced regional government and increased Nigerian participation in governance. It was a key figure in the transition to our self-government. Number four, Sir John McPherson. He was governor general of Nigeria from 1948 to 1954. McPherson continued the process of constitutional advancement. He oversaw the McPherson constitution of 1951 which further devolved power to regional government. It played a crucial role in the negotiation leading to Nigeria independence. 
Then the last but not the least, the fifth, Sir James Robertson. He was the last governor general of Nigeria. Robertson oversaw the final stages of Nigerian transition to independence. He presided, he presided over the 1954 Little Eating Constitution, which established a federal system of government. He worked closely with the Nigerian leaders to ensure a smooth transfer of power. And the lady, I'm going to be adding a lady to this list now. She also played a very, very important role, and her name is Flora Shaw. In case you don't know anything about Flora Shaw, Flora Shaw was a British journalist who later became Sir Frederick Lugard's wife. Flora Shaw proposed the name, the word Nigeria as the name for Nigeria. And she derived the name from Niger area, which is the major river that flows through Nigeria. So Niger area, and she coined the term Nigeria in 1857. So she played a very crucial role in doing that. All right, these are the prominent ones that took part. In case you know something about Nigerian history, and you can think of any other British colonial masters who took part in, Niger in the making of Nigerian history, please let me know in the comment section below. Those are the ones I'll be talking about for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely answer your questions. Whatever you can uh, contact me directly. I have my contacts are there. Whatever suggestion you have. Remember, you can also become one of my patrons. You know, by sub subscribing for as low as a dollar, or you can decide to buy me cups of coffee. Your support is highly appreciated, guys. Share, comment, and like the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.